Hi everybody, this is Holger Obenaus and this is one of my master HDR tutorials and I'm going to show you how to incorporate HDR technology into commercial photography. Now I will use a little trick to give that um, wood of the bed a little bit of glamour glow and I'm going to use the original HDR and prep it up a little bit. I use Photo Tools 2.0 Professional Edition for that. Under Image Optimize, there is a plugin called Clarity. And I usually leave the fader with 50%. And I use Daily Multivitamins A2. But I'm only using just to touch when it just barely kicks in to give it a little bit more punch and I then use portrait glow and I just leave it to the extreme setting probably about 80 84 percent so I add another vector mask let's just start to fill in just a titch of that glow here now let's take a way smaller brush, like 27. Let's be careful with the spot down here because the bed is a little bit more tricky. Uh, that was too much. All right, now let's see here. We got the reddish wood on the headstock. Got some here, got some here, especially over, make the brush smaller, just add some along the way here, we'll probably have to fix the imperfections in the wood, the scuffs afterwards. See, ah, oh, this is wonderful. Just adds a little bit of that drama and glow. If we toggle now back and forth, you can clearly see the highlights at that bed post, at the sides, down in front, and of course around the headrest of the bed. Makes a nice little detail. And I'm using this layer because this part of the bedspread is a little bit too bright so I just carefully click in a little bit more of color from the HDR if you look now the bed is kind of a little bit more colorful the bedspread is a little bit more colorful in the front and we have those highlights around the styles I will now clean up the little cuff marks which I created again and then we'll do the final step. So I will apply the filter for the lens correction. I'll move the slider for vertical perspective. And there's two things I need to pay attention to. We definitely have a straight line in the back corner. I have to rotate the picture just a little bit. Trying to get the corner in the room as straight as possible and the sides of the picture and then I scale the picture down this is very important because we do not want to lose any of our resolution and now I crop the picture in a way that I can easily still clone whatever I'm getting rid of so I don't lose too much of the size of the picture so I will probably clone this side of the wall and a little bit of the chair and on that side I will try to get as much of the bed as possible and I will just clone some of the wall all right hit return this is the last steps I do to finish up the picture. I take the uh, final file which I 
cleaned up and I use Photo Tools 2.0 Professional Edition for two little tweaks. The first thing I'm doing is I am adding, it's called Luminizer A4 and I just give it a little bit of extra brightness about 50% and then I use the landscape enhancers there's a um, filter called graduate density and I make the top slow which means the top's gonna be a little bit darker see and I just don't do it too much and then I reapply the filter again and I do center lighten and what it does is it lightens the center but it also darkens the top a little bit and you can see it kind of focuses the the eye on the middle on the bedspread on the light on the beds away from the the ceiling it makes it warm and cozy and um, <clears throat> I'm applying a vector mask I'm filling it with 100% white to apply it on the whole picture and then I paint back black in order to um, not over use the brightness where the light is and with a ceiling fan I'm trying to make sure it isn't getting too dark up there that is the picture before after we just pronounce it a little bit more and I'm using another photo tools professional edition filter which is called magic sharp I like that a lot the filters just work wonderfully so I'm applying the magic sharp filter but I will go a little bit closer and make sure I'm not over sharpening that's about a good amount again about 50 percent so don't go with a full setting the hundred percent unless you really want it and the picture is finished all right thanks for listening i hope you were able to learn something and um if you have any questions just email me or leave a comment and i'm trying to get back to you thank you and have a wonderful day bye